Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug, introducing Azure Data Studio, or ADS, which is a client tool for interacting with databases. I'm just going to cover how to use it, some useful features, and compare and contrast it if you're familiar with uh, SQL Server Management Studio or SSMS, uh, just similarities, differences, and different use cases. This is more focused towards data manipulation and maybe software development and I would say SSMS is a little more focused towards database administration. The good thing is that it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So immediately upon opening it's going to prompt me to connect to a database because this is really just a client tool. It's not a database engine so I need to cr create a connection there and one of the features I like is that this is going to allow me to kind of keep organized uh, my uh, different connections. So it's kind of geared towards recognizing that I'm going to be working with lots of databases. And uh, I can say that this group name, let's say, is local, and I'm going to color uh, highlight it as red. And another thing that I, I like about this is that I can give it a name, and that name is the same name that comes up in the recent connections. And it's a name that is uh, that the database administrator, or you know, it's not necessarily the name as it is on the database server. It's my name that I can use within my UI. So notice that I'm at home, and here's my uh, my connection to a server called person local and on the database server it's called person dot person db so um, so it allows me on the left hand side I get this uh, you know explorer kind of window where I can expand and contract different pieces and I have right click context sensitive menus and I can look at say the properties of this column and you should recognize this if you're familiar with SSMS. This is very similar to what I would see if I did a right-click properties in SSMS. Now let's go right away and write a query that I can interact with um, this database server. And I could select everything and actually let me just say the top 100 and run this and notice that I can uh, I have a full IDE experience where I've got color syntax highlighting it'll uh, underscore if I have problems in my syntax um, and I can zoom in zoom out etc I have adjusted this so that the grid results are larger and I would say in general this has uh, just as VS Code does, it has extensive customization, so I can customize this to my own preference. One cool feature is that now that I have some results, these hundred records here, I can with one click export to uh, whatever format here, and these formats are a little geared towards, let's say, uh, you know, data analysis. Right, so they're serving more of a data analytics person or a data analyst or a data scientist. And I would say also a little geared towards uh, software developers. So if I'm a web developer, for instance, I might be really interested in how this data is going to appear in JSON terms. Or if I want to import this to someplace else uh, or, or put it into Excel, I have this kind of very transferable format. And from a coding perspective, this is nice because uh, it opened directly into Azure Data Studio. And Azure Data Studio is aware of the syntax for JSON and to the point where it can do color syntax highlighting. And if I uh, have a, it'll detect errors in syntax. So that's pretty cool and, and it shows you that the focus is a little more towards developers and data analysts. All right, so just as a, another demo here, what I might do as a use case is I, I have out there in Azure a, let's do a new group, kind of a copy of this database. Um, or let's say the scenario is that I have this other database out there and I'm going to interact with both of them. So I'm going to give this, uh, this person Azure as the connection. And notice that now I've got these two groups of servers. One is called local and one is called Azure. And of course I could have more or I could create a group for a particular client. 
or uh, you know however I want to arrange them and organize them personally and then I can do things like this so for instance let's say that I go to here and I script that table as a create statement and then over here I create a new query and I execute this so effectively what I've just done is taken a copy of that table or at least the schema of the table and I have taken it from my local to my remote out in Azure uh, very quickly and easily and I can keep I can keep track of I won't confuse the two uh, confuse the two connections so I'm going to continue on um, one of the other things that's interesting and I'm not quite sure the full use case it's good for me doing demos is that I can do uh, Jupyter Notebook style uh, uh, scripting right so I can add some text here and use markdown syntax and maybe uh, number list so this is kind of you know the code of it and then this is how it will be formatted so markdown is really helpful uh, great rapid to put down ideas and get good uh, syntax uh, simplified syntax and uh, with formatting and then of course I could add down here I could add code where it's kind of embedded into the same document this is select and it's um, a few things about this notebook is that it is connected to a certain connection and um, I can expand and contract each one of these as uh, I use it so so this is pretty helpful it will be helpful for me to do demos I haven't used it yet for doing scripts or serious coding I'm not sure that I will use uh, markdown or notebooks for those purposes now um, just if you're familiar with VS code so for people coming from that uh, arena you do have this command palette that's very uh, command line interface uh, oriented but it has some very useful features in it and uh, but it is more command line oriented and uh, but it is helpful uh, so the other thing that I would say is that you this is sort of an open package unlike SSMS which Microsoft just published um, this is kind of intended to be able to add extensions similar to how VS Code uh, handles extensions so third parties can write extensions and uh, I haven't done it but it may be uh, fairly fairly simple um, one of the things that's missing that I miss is that I can't do more of a diagram view so I can't see the schema of a database uh, and typically what I have is um, SSMS to show me schema or some other tool that will show me the schema that I'm working with and it might just be a picture of it and then uh, I will write code on this now another really nice feature is that it does have full integration with source control management and in particular with Git so um, if you're writing code it has full integration I can check out I can stage I can commit uh, I can merge it has full support for that uh, which is really nice so I think it's a good uh, product and the more I use it the more I like it it does take some getting used to uh, but the feature that is really important is that it's cross-platform uh, the other caveat is that they're releasing this similar to how they release VS code where you're not getting a um, here is this version and then a year later you get another version uh, it's a free download and it, it signals you when there's an update available so it's kind of continuously updating similar to VS code and similar to how uh, the newer tool sets are coming out thanks for watching